Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is sixth lecture of my SQL DQL series. In this lecture, we are going to learn about the aggregate functions, group by, and having operators. Right? All of these are very important for the SQL. Right? So let's get started, and let's have a look at the overview of this lecture and what we are going to cover in this lecture. So we'll start with the aggregate function. So what is an aggregate function? An aggregate function is a function that performs a calculation on a set of values, or you can consider a set of rows, and returns a single value, like some function, right? Takes a list of rows. Of course, we'll pick a particular column and add the value of those and print a result, right? Or return a single result. So that is your aggregate function. So if we have a look at the aggregate function that we'll go through in this lecture are min, max, count, sum, and average. As the name suggests, minimum will uh, min will return the minimum value <coughs> from the set, and max will return the maximum value. Of course, count will count the total number of rows that specify, uh, sorry, that satisfy the condition set by us, right? In the where clause, and uh, or if you do not set any uh, conditions, of course, it will return the sum of the total rows, and then. Uh, sorry, count of the total rows. And then sum, of course, uh, calculates the sum of a particular column, and then average calculates the average. Right? We'll go through each of these functions with examples so you uh, understand what are these functions and how these are used, in uh, and how these are used to calculate uh, min, max, count, sum, and average. Right? So important thing is along all of these uh, aggregate function. The one thing that is very important to learn is group by. So we learn what is group by operator and how you can utilize this with the aggregate function, right? We learn both of these things. And also when you are going through the aggregate function, it is very important to learn about the having operator because you want to apply certain conditions, right? And that you can do using the having operator. You might think that uh, why are we not using the where clause where we can apply conditions absolutely right we'll see why that won't work on the aggregated result all right so yeah, this is the overview of the lecture that we are going to cover in uh, sorry this is a uh, overview of the whole lecture right so let's go ahead and uh, cover these concepts one by one we'll start with the aggregate functions min and max as the name suggests min will calculate the minimum value and max will calculate the maximum value it takes a single parameter that is uh, the column name so for example, in this query, select min of age, and I'm naming it as min age, max of age, and I'm naming it as max age from the student table. This is the student table. And as you can see, in the parameters of min and max function, I have passed the age column. So you see, this is the age column. Since we haven't set anywhere condition, right? So it will go through the whole uh, uh, table. And from there, it will go through the age column. Right? In the table, it will go through the age column and calculate the minimum of that and the maximum of that. So if you see, minimum is 20 and maximum is 27. So that is exactly what we are getting. Right. So you can uh, go through the whole table and get the result of min and max. Again, can't we apply conditions using where clause? Of course, you can do that. And here is another example where you can apply the condition actually. So what you are doing, again, you are calculating minimum and maximum age from the student table, this table. And this time you are specifying a condition that right? using where clause, we can apply the condition. So now we are only going, going, uh, going through the uh, ages of rows where gender is equals to F. That means only these two rows. So if you see minimum is 20 and the maximum is 22. Others won't be considered because according to our condition, only these two rows identify uh, sorry <laughs> these two rows only uh, uh, certify or uh, are the valued ones uh, for these function to be applied right so only these uh, these functions will be applied on these two rows that's why we'll get the minimum 20 and maximum 22 right so you can apply aggregate function and you can uh, use condition also using the where clause right now uh, sorry so there are uh, another function is the average function and the sum function. So sum, as the name suggests, calculates the sum of a particular field. So I'm calculating sum of the age and average of the age. So if you and since we have not set any condition in the where clause, it will go 
through the whole table to calculate the sum and the average so sum of the ages will be 25 plus 27 plus 22 plus 20 right which comes out to be 94 and that's why sum we are getting is 94 and average will be clearly sum of all of these divided by number of uh, rows right and that would be 94 divided by 4 so we are getting 23.5 okay so these are other two functions that is sum and average hmm. we have learned the aggregate functions uh, as you can see in the aggregate function i have left out count function specifically so you can consider that as an uh, as a homework now so just just google it find out what is the count function what does it do so this will help you uh, learn better the more you do certain work the better you'll learn so it is an uh, consider it as a homework just uh, uh, google it what does the count function do and how you apply it just as the other some uh, other aggregate function just as just as that you will apply the count function and let me know in the comment section what the count function does all right so since we know what are the aggregate functions it is very important for you to understand the group by operator so what is the group by operator it groups the result first of all you have a table right from which you are applying the aggregate function on which you are applying the aggregate function but what if you want to group certain rows together for example uh, let's say you are given a table right in which uh, you have country and for each country uh, it has a column country a column city and then its population for example india delhi uh, something something right some some number india uh up some number xyz and similarly other countries also what if you want to know the overall population of countries right so in the result you want country name along with the sum of all of those uh, uh population of each city of that country in that case what you can do you can group the result based on country right you have the table you have the country and you also have the population but the population is with the city the population is given with the city not with the whole country so what you can do you can find the sum of the population and group them by country right so for india all of the countries so for india all of the cities you can take their population sum it up right and for each country you will get the result so if we take a look at this as you can see i'm trying to find out the minimum maximum sum of ages but this time I'm grouping the result by gender, right? As you can see in the select query, I also have gender. And beside that, I have min, max, and sum, three aggregate functions, right? And here you can see I'm grouping the result by gender. So as you can see in the gender, we have two genders, M and F, right? So there is a, the result will have two groups, M and F, and the result would look something like this. So when you apply group by operator, what it does, it takes the table, and divide the table in certain groups the rows into certain groups for example this color forms a single group of m because we are grouping by gender that's why uh, the query will create groups based on whatever you have specified here so one group this one group this based on gender now the sum or the any aggregate function will be applied on each group separately so i'll calculate min max and sum of this group min max and sum of this group separately that's why you will get two results for m and for f so you're getting m min for for m minimum age is 25 and maximum is 27 so 25 27 and of course this sum is 52 right? for each group the result will be a separate row right so for this group will be uh, 20 and 22 and their sum will be 44 so you understand how group by works huh? so whatever column you have defined in the uh, group by query will group all of the rows based on that column right it will create multiple uh, groups and for each group this these functions will be evaluated separately and as many groups are there as many rows you will get in the result as simple as that now the question is can we uh, group the result on more than one column the answer is yes as you can see here we are only grouping it based on one column we can also group them by multiple columns here you can see i'm selecting name and gender and an aggregate function sum of age 
and here from the student table and here I am grouping them by name and gender both you see name and gender both so what it will do it will create groups uh, on these pair name and gender right so if you see uh, name and gender Ajay and M forms a single group because there is no other column with Ajay and, Ajay and M right so this forms a single uh, a group Danish M Danish M as you can see there are two Danish M so these two will form this row and this row will form a single group this will form Hina F will form a single group and Danish M F will form a single group so as you can see there are four groups based on name and gender pair right and hence we will get four results for Ajay M I'm calculating sum of age sum of age is 25 only that's why 25 right Danish M sum of age will be 27 plus 21 that is 48 for Hina F, of course, 20. For Danish F, 23. So you see, you can group rows based on more than one column. It is totally possible. Right? So yeah, this is how you apply group by operator. This is how you uh, basically group the result on certain, <coughs> sorry, on certain columns, on certain criteria. So this is the use of group by operator. And one of the use cases you can think of is, let's say you you have an order table which tracks the order of each consumer, right? So uh, customer one made one order, two order, three order. For each order, there is a single row. If you want to count for each customer, how many orders they have made. So you can use the count function and you can group by the result on customer name or customer ID, right? So you will get for each customer, how many orders they have made right so this will be like one of the use cases right of order by operator now we have the order by operator right and now let's say you want to apply certain condition on the result of it how you're going to do that so let's say uh from here as you can see age sum comes out to be 25 48 20 and 23 i only want those rows where age sum is above let's say above or equal to 25 how am i going to do that okay so we see if i want to do that i can't apply where operator there are two reasons first where operator when you apply it applies on the columns of the table i want to apply condition on age sum age sum is not a column of this table you can't apply where operator and also uh since these all of these things select from group by all of these are actually operators and operators have precedence for example if a into b plus c is there a into b will be evaluated before plus c because product operator has higher precedence than plus same way where has higher precedence than group by so where will be applied before group by right so if where is being applied before group by you can't apply condition which are applied on the group result right because where condition will be evaluated before the result is grouped if you want to apply conditions on the group result you have to have something which applies after group by and that is your have having operator so having operator is used when you want to apply constraints on the result of aggregate function if you want to apply any uh any condition and constraints on the result you can apply using having operator because it has lesser precedence than uh, then uh, select select and where right so it will be applied after those right and the difference between having and where i already discussed so we won't be discussing later i already did that so let's see how you can apply constraints using having operator so again, name, gender, and sum, right? From the student table, uh, group by name and gender. This is the exact result what we have got previously. Now I only want those rows where age sum is greater than or equals to 25. So what I'll do after all of this, select from and group by. After group by, you can apply having. Having age sum greater than or equals to 25. As you can see, age sum is not a column of this table but you are still able to apply the condition right and now you will get the result these two only 
25 and 48 right you can apply, apply multiple condition using having uh, of course by combining the condition using uh, and and or operator right so yeah using the having operator you can apply condition on the aggregated result basically after uh, grouping them right so yeah this is uh, your <laughs> this is the whole lecture of uh, aggregated functions group by operator and having operator now you are all set to apply aggregate functions not before practicing certain problems so here are some of the practice problems for you so these are five problems you can go through and practice and of course i am going to uh, uh, record the lectures for these problems also and uh, and post these lectures so if you are having difficulty solving these problems you can go through the lecture and uh, see how we can solve these problems uh, the, otherwise uh, i would highly recommend first you go ahead and try it yourself if you are not able to solve don't worry we'll solve these problems together all right so yeah this is it for this lecture thank you all for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you